what is up guys it's your boy melo for back again with another banger it's 8 56 in the morning and i got you some subs some tory lane sauce guys i just want to show you how you can sound like tory lanes yeah how you can get that crispy warm shiny vocal the tory lanes vibe yeah i just want to say uh shout out to tory lanes free tory lanes we got you bro yes eh? let me just play this thing then i'ma explain everything guys i'ma show you the sus don't worry mad loaf and catch your back please hit the thumbs like subscribe if you're new to this channel like and subscribe you know the vibes let us get into this thing yes, Let us waste no time, guys. Let us waste no time. Let me get into this prank thing. Easy. Let me show you this chain, guys. Um, for you to sound like Tory Lanez, guys, you just gotta sing like Tory Lanez. She get it, cause she get that that kind of vibe. We don't gotta come to the mic like you get it, cause she get it. Get it. And, and. You won't sound like Tory Lanez with the plugins only. You just have to sound like Tory Lanez with your voice. She get a cash in a gag. And the way they were dag. That's the way no brown nigga cash it all about. That kind of vibe, guys. Yes, eh? Yes, eh? Um, let me just explain everything. It's going to be a long video. I think around 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Yeah. Um. The first thing I did for this kind of thing, for this kind of vibe, the Tory Lanez vibe, you gotta track your vocals, guys, with the auto tune. Yeah, you can see my my vocal chain has no auto tune, but my tracking chain got the auto tune. And this the auto tune, guys, depends on the beat, the key of your beat. For this beat, I went for CH minor. The auto tune speed is zero. Yeah, you just gotta get those tory lanes keys you know then you can start recording let me just demonstrate a little bit Shit. yeah easy easy let me yeah. just turn it off okay guys and you gotta record with the auto tune on you gotta perform well on the recording parts then you're just gonna move to the mixing part you see and the first thing i did for the chain is I use the NS1 just to remove the background noise since I'm using the cheap mic um, if you're using a good mic you just you don't have to include this but this thing is good for me and I feel like sometimes this thing can chop my S's the sibilances a little bit using the next thing I got is the parametric EQ2 and i'm rolling off and dipping down some hash frequencies and, and boosting some and rolling off again i roll off the low end up to 198 hertz just rolling off that thing just like this just like this the 198 around there then i dip some 350 15 percent dip down dip some 720 dip down seven percent i dipped some 1221 dip down four percent I boosted the high mids around here because I, I feel like the presence for these vocals was around here so I boosted that then I dipped some S's then I rolled off the highs you just fold off the highs up to 14k hat easy let, us, let me just switch off everything then we're gonna listen to those uh,
three boys. Yes, sir. Uh, that's with the pyramid cue. Like we just cleaning up, and the NS1 cleaning up the background noise, and I got the compressor. Um, on this compressor, I used a preset, guys. Yeah, I won't lie to you. I just use a preset, but I switched it up a little bit. Yeah, my ratio is four comma nine is to one. The threshold is minus twenty comma two. You just can copy this, and I use this preset, the Master V. Switch that up a little bit. Yeah, with that. Yeah, the next thing I got on the chain for the Tory Lane sauce is a Studio Rack, man. It's a free, it's a free shandies. You see, and on the Studio Rack. I got some five processors, I got two compressors, two cleanups, and one exciter. It's a DSR, I'm just using the high pass, using up to 26 minus 26 the threshold. Is it then the next thing I got is the RQ. I'm just dipping down again around 125 hertz. I'm boosting the highs. 8k then i'm dipping down some boxy frequencies around here yeah let me just play this thing so you can hear that frequency i'm just rolling off that thing we don't want to hear that yuzu yuzu just the rq then i got the vitamin i just wanted to saturate or add some harmonic distortion with this thing yeah, I boosted the, the highs up to 8 dB, then I boosted the lows up to 0 0.3 dB, and the low mids up to 0 0.4 dB. Yuzu. Then I got the compressor, the DBX, and on this one I'm using a preset, the lead vocal. I didn't do anything to this thing, it's, it's just sounded fire. Yuzu. Let me play it with the DBS, then I will remove it. This is without it. I'm sure you guys can hear what the DBX is doing. You see, you see. Then I got the CLA 76. Yeah, shout out to David for this trick. Um, you just gotta use the high ratio. I'm using 12. I'm kind of exaggerating this thing, but. It's compressing a little bit, just controlling the the peaks of the vocal. Then I will include the UAD LA2A to complement this thing. So don't you worry. Let us listen to this thing. It's 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 barely doing something. It's doing a little bit. You see, uh, this is where it. Without it. You see, I'm sure you can hear the difference. It's just doing a little bit, you see, because I just wanted to to work a little bit. Then the LA2A is gonna complement that thing. You see, this the Tory Lane sauce. This the pro sauce. You see. Then the next thing I got is the free plugin, the fresh air. I just wanted some exciting on the top end. And on the high mid, is Easy, I'm sure you can hear that. That's the sauce, the fresh air. This plugin is the best. Yeah, <laughs> the best. The best in the street. Then I got the visual mix work, and on my visual mix work, I'm just emulating the warm mic and i'm adding some harmonic distortion with the neve fg73 and the visual channel you see let me open this thing oh i also got the gate i'm using the classic gate and i'm using this preset then i got the fg12 mic this one sound this mic sounded warm to this vocal so i kind of wanted that warm feeling then on the visual channel i use the rc tube yeah i'm sure you all, you all know that tubes are kind of giving that warm sound you see then the next thing on the visual mix rack 
uh, the FG73. Uh, my visual drive is around 41. Just wanted the harmonic distortion, the analog feel. Yes, uh, the, let us listen the, to the vocals without the visual mix web. This is without it. And this is with it. Sure, you guys can hear the vocal is kind of warm, getting in your face. Don't worry, I got your back. And we got another saturate, another saturation, another saturator. The SSL Native X is it? And uh, this thing, my drive is around 9,6 dB. My harmonic 34, the depth is 12 foot club. The drive is 20%. The shape is minus 13%. Then I included this thing, the plus 6 dB. Let us listen to the exaturator. This is without it. And this is with it. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, we're just saturating that vocal. You see. So it it can stand out on the beat. Then I got the reverb too. On this reverb, I'm just using this presets the large hall but uh, I, I turn down the dry so I can blend in the reverb on the main vocal and I'm using this thing to blend in the reverb this is with the reverb fully then I'm blending that in with the vocal just like you can copy this you can copy this if you if you can afford the preset just the link is gonna be down below you see just support the boy please support the boy you see so i can do more videos for you guys then the next thing I got on the Tory Lanez chain is the UAD LA2A. This thing is gonna complement all the compression. Yeah, it's just gonna level up my vocal and give me that crispy glue. Yeah. You see, my pit reduction is 50. The gain, I think it's around 30. Yeah, let us listen to this thing. You can hear the difference, guys. Let me switch it off. Let me switch it off. And this is with it. I told you I got your back. I told you I got your back. It's uh, the next thing, the last thing is the studio rack. And I'm using a DS on this one since I was saturating and EQing, including those reverbs. I just gotta DS a little bit. And uh, on this one, I'm using the band pass at around 7k. The threshold is minus 20,7. You said that's the DSing part, the last DSing part. Then I got the L1 limiter. I'm using auto release just to glue everything together and make sure I'm catching those peaks so my vocal will not slip. You yes, uh, let us listen to the chain with the DSI and the L1. This is without it. Easy, easy, easy. Then the last thing I got on this chain, yeah, I got the delay, and I'm using the edge delay. Yeah, 
for your delay to come correct every time you just gotta detect the tempo and this is how you can detect the tempo of your beat you just gotta go here and just detect tempo 75 to 150 and the for studio is gonna detect your tempo automatically then your delays will always be on time yeah then uh, i got the double on this delay i just wanted to spread my delay to the sides then the last thing i'm saturating the delay with the sub chop one knob then i'm blending in the delay let us blend it together so you can get the picture <laughs> And this is without the chain. Let me just switch it off. I'm sure you can hear the chain, the, the vocals without the chain. It's kind of lazy and not interesting. Then when I include the chain, this is when everything is kind of like industry level. Yes, and that's how you can sound like Tory Lanez, guys. That's how you can mix your vocals like Tory Lanez. Yeah, please like, subscribe, share the video, tell your friend to tell a friend that my lofa is in a building and is sharing some secrets. You see.